Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I feel a sense of relief. Um, I, you know, this morning I said that no matter what Ms. Mosey's decision would be, and I did not expect it to come today, that because of my belief in her and her integrity, uh, her honesty, her pursuit of excellence, and the fact that I voted for her and she lives in our city, and I knew her to be a distinguished lawyer, I knew that she would take the evidence and, uh, d and if she did not have enough information, get what else she needed, and that she would take the law and size it up with the evidence and make the right, just, and appropriate decision. And that's what she did. And by the way, I said at 7 o'clock this morning mm -hmm. that no matter what she decided, because I believe in her, that I would accept her decision. And I, I didn't have, have a clue that she would be deciding today or that she would decide what she did decide to do. Let me ask you the other side of this, uh, the FOP responding and saying that this was too quick of a rush to judgment. What do you what do you think about that? Well, I, I, if they think that it was too quick, they have to realize, and they, obviously they don't know uh, Marilyn Mosby. She is a woman of high integrity. Uh, as you know, she laid out exactly why she did what she did. She was quite transparent, and she was very clear. And she did her own investigation, which was very interesting. And she also uh, knew that she was, it was time for her to make this determination. But let me say something. Mm -hmm. You know, I think this decision hopefully will bring Baltimore to a new normal of how the relationship between police and uh, the citizens should be. Um, it is so important. Uh, and, when you, and if you go back and listen to uh, the way she laid out this case, um, clearly, uh, I think most people would say, um, there, there's a, probably enough there to bring these charges. And so um, now, now, now the, the process of justice has begun, mm -hmm. um, and uh, these uh, gentlemen, our officers, will have their day in court, and 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 a judge and a jury will decide from here forward. But understand that uh, she said something today that really touched me, Miss Miss Mosley. Yeah. She said, "I was elected to do this job." The people of, the, of uh, Baltimore City elected me to do this job. She did not pass it on to uh, a grand jury. She said, I am doing my job that you elected me today to do. And I would hope that all of Baltimore would allow this process to work its way through and understand that we are we're truly blessed to have the kind of state's attorney that we have. Let me ask you this. Uh, a lot of people are throwing around the word history, that history was made today. Baltimore is the epicenter uh, for a movement that could sweep the country in reform when it comes to the relationship between police and um, different neighborhoods around uh, the city. Is this something that, that you agree with, and will you take this back with you to Washington and do do something with, with what's going on here today? Only, only history will tell how historic this moment is. But I can tell you that um, so many people feel a sense of relief. In other words, so many young people, and I've talked to them, uh, even here t t tonight. We've seen you, yeah. Yeah, have told me they've had friends to, to, to die. Um, and, they, and they felt like nobody uh, thought it was significant or important. And as if they didn't even see them or recognize them as human beings. And I think to those uh, young people now, they can say, well, you know, somebody saw Freddie Gray. And I, I, and I, and I said at Freddie Gray's funeral, I said, our children are the living messages we send to a future we will never see. And I said, it's so sad that now so many of our children are sending us to a future they will never see. There is something wrong with that picture, fundamentally wrong. Finally, let me say this. Okay. The, the Marilyn Mosby pur pursued the truth. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And that's all we can ask for. Justice, that she uses her best judgment, and that she pursued the truth. And I thank God that she did that. All right, Congressman Elijah Cummings, thank you so much. Thank and we you. appreciate you uh, blowing off some of the national media to speak with the local media. Thank you don't you. know how much the people of Baltimore appreciate thank that, as, we, as do we. So thank you very much. Thank you.